Ciao a tutti e bentornati nel mio canale Prima di cominciare il video Mi voglio scusare per non aver caricato il video la settimana scorsa In compenso però ho pubblicato un esercizio sul mio blog E vi lascio il link nell'info box sotto il video Così potete andare a fare questo esercizio di lingua italiana È un esercizio di comprensione del testo Quindi dovete leggere e rispondere a tre semplici domande anche il testo è molto semplice perché è una favola di Fedro quindi sicuramente la conoscerete si intitola il lupo e il cane in today's video I'm going to teach you how to ask for information in a shop I have like written down some of the things that I think are important for you to know the easiest question And also the most important one when you are in a shop is how much does it cost? In Italian is quanto costa quanto costa questo or questa or questi or queste. But to keep it simple, very very simple, you just say quanto costa and maybe you can point the object or If it's, um, I don't know, an item of clothing, you can just show, show it to the, the shop assistant, shop attendant. Commessa in Italian is commessa, shop assistant. Commessa if it's a girl or a woman. Commesso if it's a boy or a man. And... So you can show them what you want to buy and just ask quanto costa and the answer will be costa 20 euro euros euro and they do not uh, change in plural un euro due euro they do not change in plural like never 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 say euri It's not correct at all. So, quanto costa? And that's one thing. When you have to pay, you go to the cassa. Io vado a pagare alla cassa del negozio. And then, if you want to pay cash, you just give the money. Soldi. Money is soldi. And... Soldi contanti is cash money, cash contanti. Coins is monete, one coin, two coins, una moneta, due monete. While cash contanti is uncountable, like you just talk about cash in plural. So that's the same in Italian, contanti. You maybe if you want to pay with credit card you ask if you can pay with credit card can I pay with credit card posso pagare con carta di credito carta di credito credit card it's very 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 similar posso pagare con carta di credito and then another question will be what credit cards do you accept quali carte di credito accettate? Then, if you want to try something on, like clothes, vestiti, or shoes, you go to the changing rooms, i camerini di prova. If you maybe want to ask if you can try something on, you say, posso provarlo? O posso, posso provarlo? If it's, for example, if it's uh, a coat, un cappotto. Posso provare questo cappotto? Oh, posso provare mm, questa gonna? Can I try this skirt on? Posso provare questa maglietta? T-shirt, maglietta. Posso provare questo vestito dress 
Posso provare questa camicia? Shirt. Posso provare queste scarpe? Can I try these shoes on? If you, for example, you want to buy that skirt, for example, and you can find your size, you ask the shop attendant, shop assistant, if they have that skirt in your size. So, you said you have this skirt in size medium. Uh, avete questa gonna nella taglia M and that's um, I would like to tell you about sizes in Italy because we use the English words so small, medium, large, extra large, X, X large and so on so we don't use like taglia piccola, media, larga Most commonly we say taglia S, taglia M, taglia L. Che taglia è quella gonna? È una S, è una M, è una L. So we just um, say the first letter of the English word. Small, medium and large. But you could also ask if they have that skirt in another color, for example. So you have to learn the colors. I already made a video about colors, so I will link this video below also, so you can check that out if you don't remember the colors or if you just want to refresh your color vocabulary. So, avete questa gonna in nero? L'avete anche in bianco? Avete questo vestito in rosso? and so on. To recap a little bit, quanto costa? Posso pagare con carta di credito? Che carte di credito accettate? Posso provare questo vestito? Avete la taglia S di questo vestito? Or, and, avete questo vestito in un altro colore? So these, I think, are the most frequently asked questions in a shop. If you have to buy, if you have to try something on. Mm. Oh, one more thing. For clothes in Italian you say taglia. Che taglia porti? For shoes, in Italian you don't say taglia, but you say numero. Che numero porti? What size of shoes do you wear? But it's not the same size as for clothing. It's like, che numero porti? Literally translated would be, what number of shoes do you wear? But it's translated with size. So, taglia for clothing and numero for shoes. Oh, for example, I wear a size 37 in shoes so io porto il numero 37 di scarpe uh, I think we are done with this video today I hope as always that you find this video useful don't forget to share this video if you liked it like if you know of Somebody else that would like to learn Italian for free and online just for the comfort of your home, share this video with this person and like, leave a comment if you want and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So I will talk to you in my next video that will be next week. I will do um, another video about asking information but in another setting like this video was asking for information in a shop next video, next video will probably be asking for information in a restaurant for example or 
in the street. Let me know if you would like to see more uh, ask information video in a restaurant or uh, ask for information like in the street. You decide. Let me know in the comment section below or send me an email. Ok guys, ciao ciao, ci vediamo nel prossimo video.